Hey everyone, welcome to my plus size grandma with Miss Coco Bowden. I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know I did. I had a blessed weekend. Anytime with my granddaughters is blessed, I'm telling you. Anytime. But y'all, I'm headed over here to get this food. And I just wanted to come on for a few minutes and just... Y'all, just tell you about the goodness of God and how... It's a blessing when you can be all that he wants you to be. Oh, my goodness. Let me say it again. When you can be all that he wants you to be, then you know you are in a good place. And I have been, like, since May, my transformation has been so great until, you know, um, it's it's just amazing how God just brought me out you know i'm just really still amazed at some of the things that god is doing in my life and how he has um how he has blessed me to move forward instead of being stuck how he has blessed me to recognize when something is off and and um enjoy what i'm doing for my grandchildren and others I mean, just because you don't see me working um, and posting pictures does not mean that I'm not doing anything at all as far as my charity organization goes because I'm doing something all the time with that. And I I thank God for that. Like this month, you know, I got two more people we got to send money out to. um, In October, I always do this every October is... I usually take up money to do it, but I don't got the money this time, so hold up a minute, y'all. I'm here to get the food. So, um, this is my month to, like, send out what I need to send out to those. But I'm always doing something in my charity. Oh, these women ain't paying a bit of attention. And, um... Seven. Seven. Uh-huh. Um, it's just amazing, you know, the things that God is doing and how he's brought me from uh in my feelings. How he got me out of my feelings, y'all. I was stuck in my feelings and, and when you're stuck in your feelings, you can't truly be you. You truly cannot be yourself when you're stuck in your feelings. Okay, I got my mask. Let me hurry up and get it on right quick. And I got to make sure I got my hand sanitizer too. Sometimes, y'all, I be forgetting, but it's necessary to do the right things. Yeah, so um, when you be yourself and you be who God wants you to be, you can get through a lot more things better in life. Um, you don't have that extra weight. See, sometimes we have the extra weight of the world because we allow it to be that way. But when you walk in the will of God, I mean, you'll be surprised. The people that you know when they're out of date, when they're out of season, that you have to let go of. And I don't know about anybody else, but I don't miss anybody who, who mistreated me. Period. If they mistreated me, they can come around as many times as they want to. But they're not going to get that same person that they had that first time. Or that first 100 times. You know, they're not going to get the same person. Uh Uh-oh, you hear that? Sirenkas going off. Oh, that's the ambulance. I pray somebody all right. Whoever it is, Lord, touch them. Heal them, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have a good day. So I don't know what's going on, but I hear some um, sirens. I saw the ambulance flying by. I always pray when I see that because ever since 
I was coming from I had my children had dentist appointments one day in 2006 and I had to go to the school and pick them up early and so I was on my way back home because I had left something and as I'm going home I meet the ambulance just getting it just getting it and I was like oh my god I hope somebody all right and come to find out the ambulance was actually um, headed to get my dad. He had a massive heart attack and he had died before I got there. So I always pray because I don't ever know who it is, but I know it's somebody's family and it's a person. And I don't need to know who it is to pray for somebody. So I always pray whenever I see those ambulances and I pray for the workers as well. Because, you know, they're underneath so much strain. And so, um, I make sure I get that prayer in there. But yeah, y'all, you got to be yourself. You got to trust the process with God. That if a person is out of season, if they out of date, if they have expired, that relationship has expired, just be, be thankful. Because when you stay anywhere too long where you're not supposed to be you're the one that's going to suffer that person isn't suffering because the one that's doing it because they're you're a benefit to them so they're getting benefits but you're draining and you're depleting each and every day or each and every conversation and so for me out of season people when i'm around them i can't be myself i can't be me because I know I'm not feeling them. And I'm not being honest with myself. And so when I'm honest with myself, I'm able to be me. I'm talking about I could come out, you know, a lot of people say, why you come out with your head like that? Let me tell you, this is my head. I can come out with my head like this. It's, it's not that, you know, when we talk about the women that wear the scarves on the head and stuff. Some of us just really like wearing scarves and we think we're really cute in them too. <laughs> so, um... When you be yourself, you can do that. But when you live to the expectations of this world, you can't do it. Expectations of these men. Some of these men, you know, when I look back and I think about how I changed myself up to fit into these men's lives, it was not worth losing me. It wasn't worth it. But I didn't know better. I didn't know better. I was a grown woman and still didn't know better. I didn't know that I could be myself and attract just as many and just as good of people than, you know, just getting out here not being myself. Come to find out, I was right. Well, God was right when he showed me that I could be myself. Come on out, honey. You taking up the parking now. I got to stop here, y'all, and get some juices and maybe a salad for myself here at Dollar General. But, um... When I started being myself, I started showing people, yeah, my fingernail polish be chipped sometimes. Uh, yeah, sometimes it be jacked up painting because, for one thing, I have neurology, neurology damage in one of my hands. So, if I paint my nails, yeah, they're going to be jacked up. If my granddaughters paint my nails, yeah, it's going to be jacked up because they're kids, right? They're not professional in that area. But <clears throat> there's nothing more better than just being you. Just enjoying you, doing the things that you love to do. And so when I be mean, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's like a whole nother world. It's like I don't care what you say, how you say it. I'm just enjoying myself. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to come on and just encourage y'all for today to be yourself. Be yourself. So what if you got buck teeth? So what? There's somebody out here missing teeth. There's somebody out here right now wearing, you know, braces trying to correct their teeth. It's always something going on. So be yourself. If your skin ain't the way you want it to be, drink more water. (laughs) Don't let folks hype you up and sell you short trying to be what they want you to be. You got to be you. If you don't be you... That's a miserable life. I be looking at grown men walking around trying to act like they 14 and 15 years old but want a grown woman. They want a grown woman so that they can um, use her for all that she has. But yeah, um, let me see here. 
I am, I'm getting my stuff together, y'all, so I can go in this store. Make sure I got my hand sanitized out. Y'all, Corona is still here. I don't care how many people you see trying to act like it's normal. But Corona is still here. And we still need to continue taking the safety precautions to make sure that we are all safe. Masking out. Um, let me see. Do I got everything? Okay, I think so. So I like to make sure I have my hand sanitizer out so I don't have to touch in my pocketbook and stuff to get it. And um that's about it, y'all. I know this is short. I might come on later on because I know I'm gonna be doing some housework. Um I'm trying to get home and out of this schoolwork before one o'clock, so hopefully I get done with Serenity before one. And if y'all got any tips on how to um, make it easier for kids to learn, you know, kindergarten kids to learn how to do their ABCs and stuff, I surely would appreciate it. Because it, it gets, you know, sometimes I have to pray because I get frustrated when she doesn't learn quick enough. And so y'all keep me in prayer in that area because it's not easy as it may look or as it may seem. Because these kids need help, and they need their education. And this is new to us, grandmothers and mothers out here. It's, some of this stuff is new to us. We're not used to being the teacher in that area, at least. And we're not used to the kids who don't, you know. We, we're not trained to learn how to keep the kids' attention, in other words. To keep their attention so that they can learn. So I'm praying in that area that I get better at it each day. All right. Peace, y'all.